Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Yeah, a microphone check one two. You know I'm the one with the very dope crew. You say hi to me, but who the hell are you? I'm a bionic kid. When I have a gold mic, I can pop the wheelie on a BMX bike. I can do a cartwheel. I borrow not steal. When I stay home from school, well, that's what you can feel. The morning when I wake, I eat some cake. I go jump in the lake and then I have lots of breaks. Yo, rub a dub dub, wash my booty in the tub. The guy, my three sons, his name is Bub. A lot, a lot, a lot D D on Saturday mornings I used to watch B B. I'm not blinking my nose, I'm pointing at my brain. In your corny songs, they are so lame. You're a big nuisance, you think you're so dope. You think you're gonna make it, but there is no hope. I got a spark. Can you feel it? Well, I sure can. Look at my underwear, it's getting kinda tan. Huh? Sarah Dabba Funk, Michael Jordan can jump. Come on, everybody, let's pump. I'm extra cool, you dumbass fool. Time to learn, I'm taking you to school. Mature, mature. Stand a piece of word, I'll squeeze you out like a little kid. I'm dope, like soap on a rope. Pump your face, let's go. Yo, because of whipped cream, you know what I mean? I bust the rhyme and I come so clean. I wear a cap, I flip the flap, this is die. People ask me why. Yo, I don't know, whipped cream, white and smooth. Spread it on your body and move to the groove. I flush the toilet in. It won't go down, so I stick my finger in the doo doo brown and walk the hall. Happy with glee. Laugh so hard that I gotta pee after I dump. I sweat like a pig. I'm wiping my butt. It's when I don't dig. Check it. that the uh, very first uh, thing up here hurry up dick face <laughs> all right so the phone number is 513-749-1027 uh you know the deal is phone call stop i stop i go till 8 30 that's that but uh you know i could go upstairs and just hang out with my kids and watch tv i got uh, the new beavis and butthead i want to check that out too so if you want, hit me up like uh, this. Hello. Hey, kid, Chris, what's up? It's Drunken Barry. <laughs> Drunken Barry, I'm sending you to the Doobie Brothers. How about that? <laughs> I know that sounds so cool. Drunken Barry and Drunken Beth are like neighbors, and they have sex. They fuck. You fuck a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's been kind of sick lately, so she ain't been in the mood to do nothing. I know. She's got cancer. She's going through, uh, is she yeah. there? Oh, she's going through chemo. Yeah, she uh, just ate dinner. She fell asleep in my bed. Oh, did you touch her coochie? No. <laughs> <laughs> did you, wh when was the last time you, you, you fucked her? Was it before she got uh, sick? Yeah, it was before she got cancer, uh, yeah. Yeah. So what, when she's cancer-free, you're going to have a celebration fuck fest, right? Yeah. 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 That'd be, <laughs> that'd be hot. I'm just sitting here drinking some vodka and Sprite. Oh, see? Yeah, I'm drinking vodka. It's straight vodka. No Sprite in there. But now... Do you do you still you drink and smoke pot and all that stuff around Beth still even though she's sick? Well, me and Beth still smoke pot. We figured that that's going to help her cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know they'll eventually come out with something later for people that got cancer, like uh, some kind of hemp or uh, marijuana IV. Yeah, but I think that's going to be in the future that. They're going to be able to cure cancer with marijuana, but right now we just smoke weed. It helps her not get sick as much. Yeah, you know? good. Like curling up and stuff. Yeah, yeah. 
Because I know the few, first few times she started having uh, the chemo, it wasn't that bad, but now it's hitting her, huh? Yeah, now it's hitting her. She wants to sleep a lot, but we just got done smoking a quarter bag of weed yesterday. So. <laughs> do you ever, when she gets like uh, really high and she falls asleep, do you ever put your balls on her face? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Oh, well, maybe someday you'd get a picture of it, right? And yeah. Draw, and draw a mustache. Yeah. With, draw a mustache with a sharpie on her face and put your balls on her face. <laughs> oh shit! That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Is, is is she awake? No, she's in her sleep, but I can wake her up and no, get her on the phone. No, no, don't don't wake her up. Don't wake her up. All well, right. Well, Barry, I'm probably going to be sitting by you by the Doobie Brothers because I'm going to that show, too. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm giving oh, you. I was just wondering, uh, is the seat going to be in the pavilion or do we got grass seats? Uh, uh, no, I think I think there's seat seats up near the stage and stuff. Oh, really? I think so. That'd be I'm a, cool. Yeah, there's, there, there's, you're gonna be sitting by me, so. Oh, cool. Yep, they're my other, they're my other pair. We'll yep. have to have some uh, vodka and tonic. <laughs> well, I'm ho- Is Beth gonna go with you? Yeah, I told her about today, and uh, she talked to her sister. And her sister said, "Yeah, how her sister is." She was like, "Well." You know, you might catch some or get sick, and I'm still trying to get her to go. I talked to her today about it. she's thinking about it, so hopefully I can get her to go. Yeah, she well, said she's been coughing a lot. Yeah, that's right. Stuff like that. Yeah, you, and, don't want, you don't want her to get COVID and, if it's out there. Yeah, I don't want her to get COVID either. Yeah. And do we have to wear a mask at the show? Or? No, no. Um, well, if she does go, I want a blowjob. All right, that's cool. <laughs> She's all for that, kid, Chris. She's all for that. She told me like <laughs> 10 times in the last mom that you want a blowjob? You want a blowjob? You want a blowjob? I keep turning her down. You got to go I for keep it. keep turning her down. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Barry, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. You take care, okay, dude? All right. Take care, kid, Chris, and right. thanks for everything. Yeah, later. All right, there All goes. right later. Bye. There goes uh, Drunken so Barry. So for now. Drunken Barry checking in. Now, I'm seeing in the chat, it's hilarious. There's a uh, a video loop running on um, Facebook and stuff telling everybody, fuck Facebook, Come over here to KidChris.tv. This is where the show is happening. And people are in the it, uh, on there commenting on it. When are you going to start the show? Fucking dopes. So if you're watching this, go over there and type on the screen or whatever on the in the chat, uh, you know, on the comments that it's on over here. We're not doing Facebook anymore. God, people are dumb as fuck. Right, Connie? That's right, Chris. What? People are dumb as fuck, as a fuck, Chris. <laughs> hey, I was just talking to Drunk Barry. He was telling me that um, uh, Beth keeps wanting to give him a blowjob. Do you want one? Uh, sure. Yeah, How you'll much, take... Chris? Oh, no, she'll just do it. You want me to write it down? Uh, sure. If she if she lives in the uh, in the uh, Philly area, she can come over for uh, uh, for a uh, yeah. pro job, Chris. No, nope, she's over there, and uh, she's uh, where where are they? Uh, they're in uh, they were they're in Cincinnati, but they're over in uh, ah fuck, I don't remember where they are. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, what are you up to, Connie? Chris, I got myself a, a new smart smartwatch. Uh, oh. Phone, Chris. I got a Samsung Galaxy smartwatch. So I'm talking to you on my Galaxy smartwatch, Chris. Oh, oh, your smartwatch? Yeah. Hmm. But what about so you? You're not gonna have a phone. You're just gonna do the watch? No, 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 no. I do have a phone, but, but I'm uh, oh. I'm testing it out, Chris. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, listen. I, I, yeah. you know, my my watch. You know, my watch died earlier. But I'm still wearing it. 
I don't like talking Mine into does it. Mine too. Yeah, I feel I feel like yeah. Night Rider when I'm talking into my phone, and plus everybody can hear it. <laughs> so, no. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Connie. Yeah, Chris. Now, now yeah. I saw I saw you post something on Facebook that. Uh, did you get in a fight with a McDonald's driver or something? A truck driver? No. Here's what happened. Oh. The McDonald's driver, you're not supposed to go through the back alleyway. He turned the back alleyway. The McDonald's is right at the corner where people um, swerve around to uh, to uh, buy their food outside. Yeah. He goes He goes through the back alleyway, hits all fires. Our electricity was shut off. Then, then they have to call Pico up here, and then they have to call Verizon. Oh. Then the cop gave him a, a citation for that. He, he's not supposed to go in the back alley. With oh, I see, I see. So that's why you're yelling about it on Facebook and stuff. They knocked out They knocked out your power and all that shit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, how's how's your, uh, your roommate, the guy that you uh, are living with? Does he still jerk off in front of you and stuff? No, 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 no. I occasionally, I occasionally don't, don't pay attention to that, that part, Chris. Oh, okay. So he just walks around naked yeah. and stuff, but you don't pay attention. No. No. What about the, the cat? Do you still touch its butthole? Yes, I do. Cool. You don't, you don't put your finger in the butthole, though, do you? No, I do not. Okay. No, you, she'll you, get mad at me, Chris. Oh, 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 okay. So you'll just get mad, but do you, do you, do you just tap the cat's butthole? Uh, yeah, I've done that a couple of times, Chris. Oh, okay. So you just tap the cat's butthole and then the cat just goes, ooh, right? Yeah. Her. Yep. <laughs> she loves it. She loves it. Okay. And, then, yeah. and that's why she hangs out with you all the time, right? Because you touch the cat's that's butthole. Room. Yep. Yeah. Do you ever and wake she up? Doesn't whoop up on... Yeah. She What's... doesn't whoop up on to be uh, tickled, Chris. So yeah. whoop up and I... Take her, she pushes her paw away for, for, for me, Chris. Yeah. So, so what, what's yeah. the cat's name? Sammy. So when you wake up in the morning, you lay in bed and go, Sammy, I want to touch your butthole. <laughs> She'll be next to me, Chris. She's always next oh. to me. Always, Chris. So, so do you ever, like, say, say it like you do to the cat. Do you ever lean over to the cat and go, Sammy, do you want me to touch your butthole? Uh, I've done it a couple of times, but she uh, she doesn't even meow back at me. Well, she meows back, then I uh, but then I uh, tap her up, pet her, Chris. So so say it, say it the way you say it to her. Sammy, can I tap your uh, pet hole? No. Yeah. Yeah, she, she talks to me, 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 me a little bit too, Chris. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's good shit, Cotty. Well, listen, buddy. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go. I'm drinking vodka. Um, uh-huh. I got some good shit. I got from uh, uh, the Freddy show that I used to produce. That was a, a fun little uh, a thing we did. I'll explain that here in a second. I'm gonna share those uh-huh. things. Uh, now, Connie, I want you to say one thing for me, okay? Yes. I want you to go. Fuck off. Okay. Fuck off. Fuck off, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, Connie, later. Okay, Chris. Bye. Bye-bye, Chris. Uh, 513-813-7979. That's the uh, number if uh, you want action. The phone calls die off. I die off. I'll just fade. Fade. Okay, so 513-813-7979. That uh, is the uh, a phone number, okay? Fuck off, you prick. Yeah. Fuck off. You prick. I got this one, too. I want to suck that hard cock. <laughs> I always wonder what people think when they, like, uh, like see the video for the first time. Like, oh, well, I wonder what this show is all about. And then uh, and then they tune in, and then it's, uh, it's, it's that kind of shit. I want to suck <laughs> that hard cock. What's up? Am I on the air? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, you, uh, you didn't get Connie to tap it on the watch. Mm. His thick dick? 
yeah. I mean, like, it's <laughs> on the watch. It's like right there. I've much. seen I've seen Connie's dick. You know, where where are you from? Well, six. Oh, you're in Jersey. So no, no, no. I used to be in Jersey. I live in shithole fucking Atlanta now. Oh, okay. But either way, uh, the first time we met Connie, we had him shower with a chick, a listener in the studio or in the uh, the showers that were in our building. And uh, I know I, in Philadelphia when yeah. radio was amazing. I and saw ninety four one did all the talk bullshit, I, and then I they saw, fucked it up. I saw his little penis. Uh, it uh, was like you said it was big. Two seconds ago. No, no, no. Get your story straight. No, it was it was little, but you know. It's guys like that that you would think, oh, he's got, you know, he's probably got a big, thick one. Because- right, he's packing heat because he's missing it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said it best. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. You know. Thick tongues, right, thick yeah. cocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Small, small brain, big dick. Where, I mean, where are you in Atlanta? Uh, outside of in, uh, Marietta. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's so, not, isn't that where uh, the new stadium is? No, no, we're, no, that's in. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The uh, oh. uh, uh, the fucking Braves. Yeah, I don't yeah. watch that game yet, but well, well, you know what? Uh, the, the Braves stadium that was in the city was awesome. It was nice. Yeah, well, they fucking ruined that and put it out here. So now we got all these fucking jerk offs out there puking their Bud Light off and uh, you yeah, know, making a bunch of goddamn noise. But not my fucking problem. I don't live down that way. Yeah, it was. Uh, man, I forgot where I fucking lived. It's been. 10 years uh it was a uh, uh i don't remember it was an atlanta address but uh it was like uh in between buckhead and atlanta i don't i don't remember all i know is uh, the, my my way into work it was great because i could cut through two neighborhoods to get to peach tree to where the studio was and it was right there it was fucking awesome i would go right by center stage where uh, world championship wrestling used to record their shows their saturday shows Fuck, that's like a sore dick. You just can't beat it. Yeah, that's right. A third dick, you just can't beat it. Or a sore no, dick. Sore dick. Yeah, sore yeah, dick. Sore. God like, damn it. I, saw you, I thought you said sore. Sorry, I chew my words sometimes. No, it's all right. I've been drinking, so it's all right. We're both fucked. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, in <laughs> more ways than one. But What did you go to uh, Atlanta yeah, fucking, for? Why'd you go down there? Because uh, my ex-wife uh, was from another country. And the only family she had was of all places in Atlanta. And I lived in Jersey, which is super fucking expensive. Yeah. So we're like, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. I have family in Texas. She's like, oh, you want to live by my sister in Atlanta? You know, long story short, we get divorced. Now I'm stuck with this big fucking house that I bought off her in the divorce. And yeah. I mean, it was amicable, whatever. But uh, that's why I'm here, dude. I, I grew up like surfing and fishing and being by the ocean now i'm stuck in fucking atlanta because <laughs> <laughs> the market took a shit you know i love atlanta uh, I, I did yeah yeah but it's not as good as philadelphia because that's like a real city uh, see you know what well you live both places i lived everywhere and uh you know i know everybody that lives in philly and that area loves it eh, it's not that great <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but it's great. It's great because it is what it is. But Atlanta is like a fucking nightmare because everything's so spread out. Like, you you go out, you go do something. It's like, oh, you want to hop over and meet somebody over this other place? Oh, yeah, it's like, 45 yeah, minutes. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how many blocks? It's yeah. like blocks. It's like it's six miles. Like, yeah. motherfucker, I ain't walking six miles. Yeah. No, we got to drive. It's like, I'm not going to drive. Yeah, and they got big ass bugs. <laughs> yeah, well. And and the public transportation dog shit. They got that one train that goes nowhere anybody wants to go. Yeah, yeah. No, I know what you're talking about. I forget what they call that. Uh, but uh, uh, Mar- uh, Marta. Marta. I think it's Marta. Marta. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I lived right by work, and I didn't go anywhere, so I was good to go. <laughs> well, that's good because well, and you know what? Atlanta is covered up in fucking strip clubs. So you know. Oh man, I. Let's see. I went to the strip club. Uh, I forgot what one it was, but it was one of our sponsors. It was that the peach tree lawyer took us and he showed up with a suitcase full filled with cash and just gave us all stacks of cash. <laughs> and that's what you need. though. I know. But it, the thing was, though, it's nobody gave a shit who we were when we sat down. We were just a bunch of grubs. We went there for lunch. And I was just there because I wanted to eat steak. So we're eating, and we have all these pa- these stacks of cash in front of us. And I felt weird. I wanted to spend this guy's money. So 
all the girls were hovering around us, like, oh, hey, and what's I going said, on? Like, fuck, it's like a goddamn bug light. Yeah, you know? yeah. You start yeah. throwing because every, you know, it's Atlanta, so, you know, it's hit or miss your clientele, but most people are, you know, well, I don't the, know. The girls are hot. City, right? I can't judge. The girls are oh, fuck, fuck yeah. Yeah. They're very hot. But the fact that the strip club had a name is where you went wrong. You need to get those ones that just like, they just kind of out in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know. Well, time gig, Wichita, Wichita had funny uh, strip clubs too. They're all outside the city because of uh, the Bible thumper shit, you know. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, God doesn't like strip clubs and gambling. Yeah, but the, all the God people are there, and I would have to do uh, uh, gigs at these strip clubs, all of them. And there was one place called Pleasures, and it was like a thirty-five minute drive, way to fuck out in the middle of nowhere. And those girls, they they wanted the they wanted the fuck. <laughs> Because <laughs> ain't nobody going to fucking strip clubs out there. No, it's too far out. I mean, all, the only guys that would go would be the guys that worked uh, the later shifts at all the airline places. All the they, they make all the planes out there. I I did a do a gig out there one time, and uh, you know for the radio station. So this one girl said, oh, "I want to give you a lap dance." I was like, "Oh, fine." And remember, this is twenty something twenty something years ago. She took my hand. And she turned it up, put my middle finger up, and put it on my lap, and then she put it right inside her and just wrote it. <laughs> See, man, that's what you need. Like, that makes you twenty bucks go a long way. Well, I bang. I ended up banging her. <laughs> right, of course, because like, why wouldn't you? I mean, mm -hmm. like, I mean, yeah, that's basically a pass right there. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even know if that place so that place is even there. But I don't remember the one I went to in Atlanta. It was it was. I don't know. We were at all of them all the time as far as work stuff, uh, but I don't like strip clubs. I mean, all I know is they, they they get me to go. They said they have really great steak for lunch, I'm, so I was there. <laughs> right, right. Well, so you, uh, I don't know if you remember. So I listened to you in Philly, and then I moved. And uh, before my ex-wife and I moved down to Atlanta, we would visit her sister and uh, her ex-fiance. And I remember when you guys got booted uh, off of uh, uh, 94 one in fucking Philly, and then I was down here in Atlanta, and we're, like, driving out. And I'm like, this is Kid Chris. <laughs> I'm like, I know this son of a bitch. This guy's funny as fuck. And then, uh, you know, yeah, that, on and on. That station was a beast down there in, uh, in Atlanta. Oh, that was pretty good. But, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, I guess I don't even listen to fucking radio. It's now. gone. No, it's gone that. now. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> now we're going to do. Yeah. They, they, fucking, they, uh, they, they, took it, they took it down and put uh, Top 40 on there, so... You know. All right, of course. So you listen to uh, Justin Bieber. Yeah. And there's like that, 17. That, uh, there's like 17 of those stations down there. But our company wanted to put one down there because they wanted to bring that uh, jingle ball down there and stuff. It was a business thing, which, you know, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, jing yeah. jingle ball. That's cool. Nobody probably fucking does that anymore. But, mm. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so there was this place in Philly or down by the river. It was called Daydream. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever been there. Yep. Yeah. And it was the greatest strip club that has ever existed <laughs> for two reasons. One, it was down by the river. And B, they didn't have a fucking liquor license. So you pay a mildly inflated cover charge. Yep. Bring your own. And then you would get free beer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well. me, and, me and my buddy, we used to go there. We're like, fucking case of PBR on like a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> like, get off work, go sit over there. Just. Just because it was like fun, because they're just like you know, what else are you gonna do? Wait, what? What, what was it called? <laughs> Daydream. I I don't think I ever went to that one. I went to the other one that was uh, right on the 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 water. It was uh... so this this one? No, this was like on the water. Like you're driving through like old abandoned fucking docks. And no, like no, no. Okay, I went to the one that was over uh, closer to where like uh like they do some of the concerts down there on the sh at the shore. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, cheerleaders or something. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. That's what it was. It was cheerleaders. Yeah. So that one's funny because when you go to cheerleaders, it comes up on your uh, your bar tab as a uh, cheerleaders like steak and whatever like <laughs> restaurant, right? So here, so if you got old lady saying and get all pissed off, you know, <laughs> if you want them type people, yeah. uh, not not straight people, but you know, married people. I understand. Anyway. Yeah. All right, dude. Well, be but, safe. Uh, be safe in Atlanta. Uh, you're right, lucky. Will do. You're lucky. You're down there. You, you got good winters down there and stuff. I mean, up here it gets cold as fuck still. So, uh, but. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. But t that would be my only other city. I well, I'd say I'm, I'm in Cincinnati. I, I want to stay here. Uh, 
But if I had a choice, it'd be after this San Antonio or Atlanta. That would be it. Oh, okay. Well, hey, it's just because yeah, of the weather. I'm down here. Yeah. I mean, well, I'm listening to your podcast, and luckily I'm like two years behind. So he was like talking all like COVID shit. <laughs> but I can listen to it. Like, I don't got to fucking wait. All right, <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, dude. But, all right, man. I've been yeah. listening for years. It was good to bullshit with you. And, uh, yep, I'll catch up with you. All right. See you, man. Bye. Bye. So long for now. It's a Jersey guy living in Atlanta checking in. How about that shit, right? I want to suck that hard cock. Well, bring it. <laughs> uh, you see the uh, number there. Boy, I'm not going to have time. I wanted to uh, play some of the Freddy stuff uh, that, I, that I dug up during my, uh, my weekend of digging through shit. I found a bunch of shit that uh, I've been playing on the radio show and all that. If you haven't heard it, you're missing out. Um. I mean, judging by the ratings, there's a lot of people. I don't really... If you've been listening to the show for a while, you know I really don't talk ratings stuff, but uh, they've been pretty fucking awesome. And I actually posted them on my uh, Facebook if you want to see them. Hello. Yeah, Hello. what's up? Hello. Yeah. My dad has been listening to you since he was my age. What? She wants to say she. Oh. Oh. Um, I've been listening to you since I was 12 years old. So, <laughs> oh, where are you from? Uh, Woodland, outside of Sacramento. Oh, sh- sh- that's. Uh, I don't want to curse. Yeah, Sacramento. You can curse. It's, it's fine. She's heard a few things. It's okay. <laughs> it, it's funny. There's a. Uh, you, here's something embarrassing. I think I've told this story uh, before on the radio. I hit up uh, one of our stations out there in Sacramento. It's called the uh, the River. It's on uh, the old... 937. St- yeah, yeah. It was on the old, the old station we were on. I hit him up, and I said, Hey, man, uh, you know, uh, we're here on the East Coast. If you're looking for a morning show, uh, you know, you can run our show out there. We were, you know, we worked in Sacramento and all that stuff. And, you know, I really think, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be happy to do it. We could uh, get some ratings for you and all that shit. And then after I sent that email... I went and looked at the ratings, and the morning show they have is killing it. So I wrote back right away, and I said, never mind, man. I just saw your ratings. Good good luck. <laughs> They're doing awesome. They don't need us. That's for goddamn sure. I must I must not uh, must be that cool because I don't listen to that morning show. So Well, then you're the only one because they're crushing it. I, I get, well, good for them. Yep. That's good for them. So, uh, yeah. Because like, like I think um, my daughter was born the same year as your daughter. Because I think your bar- daughter was born in December. She was born in August of '09. Because I remember you were. I was listening to the to the uh, San Antonio podcast shows. Yes. Uh, that summer. Yeah. When when we announced that she, uh, my wife was pregnant. Yes. Yeah. With the, uh, that was with uh, the the cuckold though at the time. I, we still haven't. You know, we, we met him on AOL. And he came over and he drilled her and got her pregnant. He he, he uh, breeded her, and uh, we don't know who the dad is. But you know, I'd love her. Well, like that's, she, I, I love her. Like oh, well, she's that's, mine. that's 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 great, man. You know, you gotta care for him. You know. <laughs> hopefully, ho- hopefully, ho- hey, hopefully they're uh, they're contributing to uh, some child. Is there a type of child support payment that you're getting? I hope. Or? No, I, I don't know who he was. He was just a handsome gentleman with washboard abs and a big thick one. And uh, I just sat in the corner and jerked off uh, while he breeded her. <laughs> okay, well, Izzy, let me tell you what a cuckold is while we're here in the car. <laughs> no, don't do that. Uh, uh, where, where in Sacramento do you live again? Outside of Sacramento called Woodland. Oh, yeah. Woodland. Um, I, I I met you one time after your show ended. You, you I met you and Marshall Stacks at the great California State Fair. Yes. Uh, right after your show ended. It, 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 after it ended, like it came off the air, or when? I think it came off the air because they, cause like you went to like a music format. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember uh, the a music format. Yeah, I remember the fair. Uh, was that when Journey was playing? <laughs> Probably Journey yeah. or Smash Mouth, one of those two bands. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, okay. Yeah, that was a nightmare when they, they, they took the radio station from all talk to music because I was under contract, so I had to sit there 
in the studio and watch. Uh, all I did was I just recorded my shit, and I would just sit in the studio and watch uh, watch this little awful TV they had, and they were paying me some good money because I was under contract. So I just sat in the studio and watched TV, um, and it was just it was boring because it would just play like uh, Judas Priest and shit. But I just was a DJ, so I just sat around and did that, and then. There were, we had a, a phone, a business phone in the studio that no one knew the number to, but the guy that works for this company that is one of the high ups that is over my show, he called me on that phone one night and tried to get me to come to uh, sit there to Cleveland to work. He called that inside wow. line. I don't know how he got it or anything, but he called me when I was on the air. I was just watching television and the phone rang, which never rings in the studio, and I answered it. And he told me who he was, and I was like, oh, shit, okay. And he uh, said, we want to bring you to, uh, we have an opportunity for you in Cleveland. And I said, all right, that'd be, that'd be interesting, but, you know, I'm under a contract, so I can't go and do anything. So uh, it was a whole it was a whole thing, but uh, it's a long story. But, yeah, he called that inside line. And when you're just sitting around doing nothing, why wouldn't you take a job elsewhere, right? Of course, yeah, yeah. especially because... That, that station was so wonderful because it was an all-day FM talk station. But then, correct me if I'm wrong, but after the Sex for Salmon thing, when they took Open and Anthony off the air, yeah. that station went down because all you had was Empowered and You. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys carried Tom Likas you guys did, did Tom Likas after that. Yeah, it was, uh, well, it was, it was Howard and then uh, a show called Tim Chip and Lisa. And then so yeah, Tim Chip and Lisa. Yeah, and then Opie and Anthony, and then us, and from seven to eleven. Yeah, Which and then what? And then what happened was Tim Chip and Lisa got Opie. fired because of ratings, so they got fired. So then they carried Opie and Anthony live. At, live. Yeah, at at noon until and then they would replay it, and then it, they would be on till seven, and then we would come on. Uh, and then, yeah, they fucked in the church, and then everything went to hell. And then our program director, at the time, Steve, he his, his only hire was Tim, Chip, and Lisa. So his show failed. So when Opie and Anthony fucked up, he just threw out all of us and made us play music. So that would that's what the yeah, and, it, it, and then they named, and I remember they changed the letters to KHWD after Howard. Yeah, I was already gone. Well. I was already gone. Mm. No, like you said, I had a great childhood because of you. Um, <laughs> again, like all day listening to uh, all that stuff growing up, and it's funny now. Like you know, I'll play some stuff with my daughter here. I'm like, let me tell you what, this helped shape my personality and my sense of humor and my um, what I think is funny. You know, um, you know what? But yeah, uh, but it, that that station. Here's the funny thing: is I was on the rap station first on KSFM. I know. KSFM. Yeah, and then and then. They said uh, they put Howard on our sister station. They said they, oh, they want we want to put all the headaches on one station. So they go, we want you to work over there. I was like, oh shit, okay. But I never did talk. So at the time, I, it was just me, and I had a producer named Coochie, who I hired from college, and he could barely talk on the air. But then I had a, a an intern named Thomas, and Thomas talked better on the air. He was a more better of a conversation. So. We ended up firing Coochie, and then Thomas was aboard. And I remember we were doing a lot of dirty shit at night, and then and then oh yeah, yeah. But it was like Ugh, this is this is it. it they're, they're doing that all day. They're doing dirty shit in the morning and dirty shit with with uh, Opie and Anthony. So we decided just to start breaking balls and shit. Um, and that's what Brad came along, Brad the cripple, and all these other you know uh, jerk offs. Mule, and, okay, mule races. Um, like with one of my favorite, funniest things I remember. No, oh, the guys mule. Doing. Yeah, well, the mule race was. <laughs> 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 I forgot about the mule race. That was when it was a competition of who can come first, <laughs> <laughs> who can jerk off in the bathrooms and and come first. And that was Thomas took on all the sales guys. <laughs> yep, he was the champ. The champ to be the champion. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the mule race. I forgot about that. Mm. Um, uh, maybe maybe you and Sag can uh, compete uh, this week. No, I'm, all, I'm I'm out of that game. No, <laughs> they, they, 
They, they, they pay me not to do that stuff. <laughs> That's what they do. They pay my mortgage. They go, hey, don't do this kind of shit. And I go, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, dude, I got to go. I'm, 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 I'm going to bounce All off right, of yeah, you. Yeah. All right, appreciate it. Thank All you, right. Kid Chris. Hey, right, kidchris.net for the podcast. Go purchase it now. Yes, please do. Thank you. <laughs> uh, in the chat room, yes, Fast Fred is in Sacramento. Correct. Now, I, I met Fast Fred because my program director, Byron Kennedy, uh, from the rap station, KTFM, he's the one that hired me to Sacramento. He found my shit on Napster from Wichita, my all my bits and all that shit. Anyway, so um, he, uh, uh, now Byron, if you look him up, Byron Kennedy, he quit radio and he's doing stand-up comedy now. He's the guy that does that call to... Uh, uh, to George, the the uh, the Indian dude at the at the um, at the gas station, and he fucks with him, and he calls the tire guy and tells him to keep the shit down, and they start fighting and all that stuff. That's Byron. Anyways, he's a stand up comic now. Um. Anyways, one day he goes, "Hey man, you ever get a call when you're on doing your show? You ever get a call from this guy, Crazy Fred?" And I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" He goes, "Man, there's this uh, rapper dude." who is a little, you know, off his rocker. He thinks he's fucking a good rapper, but he calls all the time. He has an, a CD that's shit. He goes, uh, yeah, you should get him on. So one of the other DJs, they t- he told all the DJs to uh, get Fred's number when he calls again, and he called. And uh, the day I brought Fast... He, he changed his name to Fast Fred. I invited him into the studio because he was so horrible. This was in Sacramento. I said, hey, you know, come on in the studio. And he was like, oh, can I bring my friend? And his friend was Charles J, who, uh, uh, if you're in Philly, Sacramento, San Antonio, uh, watching this, then you know who uh, Fast Friend and Charles J are. It's the same thing if you're here in Cincinnati as like a uh, country Jeff and all that. Just, you know, the show is like a bug light to these kind of fucking people. Uh, the thing is, though, is like in Sacramento, and it's probably the Times, too. In Sacramento and in Philadelphia and in Sac or in uh, San Antonio and stuff, people weren't afraid to call in. Um, like here in Cincinnati, because EBN is such a huge fucking station, and it's been around forever, that people are afraid to call in because they they all their whole family everybody listens, so they're afraid to come on and tell their fucking dirty laundry or anything and, and be heard, you know? So it's a real pain in the fucking dick to get people to open up, which is fine. I mean, I, you know, we'll deal with it anyway. So I gotta go. I had a bunch of shit all planned uh, to go to if we didn't get calls and stuff, but uh, we, uh, we blew them up and now I'm going long. So I'm going to bail and drink more of these things. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is uh, one of my favorite days. Uh, I don't really, really need to tell you since the last couple of weeks of ratings and stuff, but, uh, <laughs> Uh, our buddy uh, uh, Stuart W. Penrose, the attorney, is coming in uh, to uh, take legal calls and all that shit. So that'll be tomorrow. So enjoy the rest of the night, please. Thank you. Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughter's silvered wings. Sunward I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of. Wheeled and soared and swung high in the sunlit silence. Hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air. I wanna suck that hard cock. 